model of economic growth is a popular model that is studied in macroeconomics. This model was developed by Sir R. F. Herod. Herod defined three different types of rates of growth. The warranted rate of growth. If investment is equal to savings, there is a situation of equilibrium. Maintaining this equilibrium through time was termed by Herod as warranted rate of growth. Let us name it GW. The actual rate of growth. The increment of total production in any unit period can be expressed as a fraction of total production. This was termed as actual rate of growth. Let us name it GA. The natural rate of growth. The rate of growth brought about by the increase in population and technological improvements is termed as the natural rate of growth. Let us name it GN. Assuming an economy in equilibrium with full employment in a period, the three rates of growth will be equal. Let us explore the Herod's model of economic growth. Sir Herod made the following assumptions for his growth model. The first assumption says that investment in period T is the excess of the current income over the income in the previous period. Can you express this assumption mathematically? This expression shows that investment in period T is the excess of the current income over the income in the previous period. IT is investment in period T. YT minus 1 is income in the previous period. YT is income in current period. Second assumption says that savings is some proportion of the income. How will you express this assumption mathematically? This assumption may be mathematically expressed like this. ST is savings at time T. YT is the income at time T. The third assumption says that savings is equal to investment. This means that whatever is saved is invested. This equilibrium condition can be expressed like this. So we have three equations from three assumptions. Let us now try to find the time path of growth of income. That is, we have to find the value of yt. Let us substitute these two equations in the equilibrium equation. This is the result. Simplifying, we get this result. Do you recognize this equation? Yes, this is a first order linear difference homogeneous equation. If we find yt plus 1, we get this result. If you can recall the general structure of a first order linear homogeneous difference equation is of this form. And this is the solution. Now comparing with the general structure, the time path of income for the Herod model is given like this. Where B is alpha by alpha minus delta. A is the initial income and is positive. The time path of income yt will depend on the ratio alpha by alpha minus delta. If alpha is greater than delta, the time path of yt will be explosive as t increases. If alpha is less than delta, the time path of yt will be oscillatory.